It's a dark day. It's a really dark day when you look around and see blood everywhere. Blood down the rock. Blood on the water. Blood in the middle of the sky. What the? Hello, everybody. My name is Ricardo Tejivo, and this is the Tejivo's Mod Gen 4 series. Today, I'm going to show you the Bloodstain mod. A Bloodstain mod is a very creative idea that actually comes from one of the greatest AAA titles of our time, and a, one of the hardest ones, the Dark Souls, the, Devil, the Demon Souls Dark Souls series. Okay, In the Dark Souls series, it's very interesting because you, it's a single player game that you actually play inside a server so you actually see ghosts of people walking around and sometimes you find those things, blood stains that if you just touch it and activate you will see how other players died in that spot and this will actually help you to understand how they died and how to not die like they did freaking noobs so this is what this mod does as you may see the blood is quite radioactive it's, it's a very strong head and it's not a block that you can actually mine, as you may notice here. Okay, thanks. But you can activate it by pressing the G button. This is configurable in the config file. Okay, so... Okay, let's make this show watchable, so let's put it on a day, okay? So this here is when I died by suffocation inside gravel, because I didn't find a mod that allows me to breed gravel. Come on, mothers, get in that. So, here it is. I'm doing the dance of the gravel. So majestic. And eventually, I realize that it's stupid and I die. Thank you very much, Tehavel. Uh, right here, I had a setup. In which this, under this blood, is... Is a pressure plate that actually allows you to die by yourself. So, G button, and let's see how Tehivo died in here. He was way too focused on pressing that button. Now, look at that obsession. And he walked forward and back, and he was hit once again, and in once again, and come on, one more. And, oh, actually, it didn't work at this time, so he tried one more, and one more, and it died. Great. This here is when I actually tried uh, to do a bit of struggle with the zombies. Uh, as you may see, the ghost doesn't actually move the legs. It moves the body, the rotation of the body, and the head. But the legs itself and the movements of the arms are not registered. Uh, let's be honest, it, it would be a hell lot of data to, data to actually store. So right here, I have been pummeled by zombies and I just died. It works with every single kind of death. It will register your movement so you actually can understand how exactly that person died. For example, right here, underwater, if I just press G here, I will see the evil word trying to make a dance and trying to play a Sonic in here. And those here are... Well, that explains a, a little bit of the mechanic of the blood stain because I tried to die by falling, okay? And this will register exactly uh, at the furthest point in time in which the blood stain will record. So if you spend too much time in the air and only then fall, it will not put the blood stain where you end. It will put the blood stain right in the farthest end, I mean... 10 seconds before the death. So, I was still getting up in there, up in the sky, and then I just stop it there and lazily and calmly change it from creative mod to survival. Anytime now. And then I hit the ground and died. I tried to go a bit lower, but from this distance from this distance to the ground, I actually didn't die. But... I actually took a bit, a bit of time to die as well, because... Come on, I pressed G. Work on! Work on it! Come on! Alright! So... 
I spent a little bit of time in here, and then I dropped, but I didn't die. But conveniently, there was a witch in there, and she decided to... That I was an interesting person, and decided to share a few drinks with me. And he threw a few of them, and I realized that my metabolism is not the same as a witch, and I'm not a good drinker. So, yeah. We were not made to be. Now, just to show a little bit of what... This mod, how this mod actually works in action. Uh, let's make a single calculation. Two, three, four. From here, I can actually... Yeah, from here, I can actually start taking damage. So I take 20 damage. So it's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I think this is enough to kill me. So, survival mode and whee! Yep, just enough. So, here I am back in the tree. Okay, I am. Oh. <laughs> Too good to have an A, huh? Otherwise, this would actually suck. So, back to where I was. Oh, look at that. I spent too much time raising it. Getting up, and then my bloodstain just stayed up there. Well, it happens. So, let's just witness the awesomeness of my death. Witness! I was getting up, getting up. Got everything ready. Change it to... Changing modes and come on, jump, do it, be a man, go. All right, I think I'm starting to paint this word head. So short and sweet. This is all we have to say about the blood stain mod. Entry for the mod gen four. Let's end with the usual recommendations. Okay, first go download the mod. Uh, all the mods from the mod gen and test each and every single one of them uh, Well, as you may see we don't need a map for this one and the mods who doesn't need a map I will not put a map for it. So Don't worry. You can test with any map You make or you download from me. You actually don't need a resource pack But there is a resource pack for the mods who actually need a little fixing here and there because of the coding and if it's time for you to vote, it's, if it's yet on the period of voting, go there and vote. If not, just make sure your voice is heard and tell the mother that you like their works because they took 96 hours to make a code. So this was all coded in 96 hours. It's amazing. I don't know how to code this. Do you? I, I, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. If you do, well, congratulations. You have immense good power. If you don't, Remember to tell those people you are grateful because this is kind of cool, you know? So that's it for now. Hugs for all. And until next time.